welcome to Wise Guys. Today we're going to be talking about changing multiple units. And we're going to be working with conversion factors to do that, just as we did in the previous video. Um, again, a reminder that units are as important as numbers when we're working through mathematical questions. Now let's say we're trying to change uh, something like meters per second to kilometers per hour. So what we're doing is changing multiple units. We're going from meters to kilometers and from seconds to hours. So we can do it in two different ways. We can do it in one step. So we can start with our meters per second, multiply it by a conversion factor that shows the relationship between seconds and hours and then multiply it by another conversion factor that shows the relationship between kilometers and meters. What will happen here is our seconds will cancel, our, our, our meters will cancel, and we'll be left with the units of kilometers per hour. Now we can do it in one step or there's nothing wrong with doing it in two steps. So we could start with our meters per second, multiply it by the conversion factor for seconds per hour, our seconds would cancel, and we'd be left with meters per hour. Once we have our meters per hour, we could multiply it by the conversion factor of kilometers per meter, so we know one kilometer is a thousand meters. Our meters will cancel, and we'll be left with the final units of kilometers per hour. So let's just look at an example here. We have eight feet and we want to change it to centimeters. So I'm going to use two different conversion factors. One of them is one inch equals 2.54 centimeters and the other one is one foot equals 12 inches. And you might say to me, well, Delaney, why don't you just use a conversion factor that takes you straight from feet to centimeters? But what if you don't have that conversion factor? What if you only have what you know, which is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters and 1 foot equals 12 inches? We don't want to remember everything, as I said in, my last, in the last video. So you may just want have these two pieces of information, and how do you go from feet to centimeters with this, this information? So here we have our 8 feet. We're going to multiply it by the conversion factor of 12 inches per foot so our feet will cancel and we're left with inches. Then we multiply it by the conversion factor of 2.54 centimeters per inch so our inches will cancel and we're left with the units of centimeters. So you can see over here we have our 8 feet multiplied by the 12 inches, multiplied by the 2.54 centimeters, and divided, the whole thing divided by one foot and one inch. Okay, Our feet will cancel, our inches will cancel, and we have 8 times 12 times 2.54 centimeters divided by 1. So going back to the calculator, this is 8 times 12 times 2.54, which is 243.8. So let's go with 244 centimeters. Okay. Now, let's try some examples. Here we have 16 centimeters, and we want to change that to feet. So very similar to what we just did. We had feet and we changed it to centimeters. Now we're going from centimeters to feet. So pretty much just backwards. 16 centimeters. And I'm going to do this all one in one step. Times, I'm using a relationship of inches per centimeter. So I want centimeter in the denominator because I want my centimeters to cancel. And I want inches in the numerator because I want inches in my answer. I know there's 2.54 centimeters 
for one inch. Now what's going to happen is I, I'll get rid of my centimeters and I'll be left with inches. So then I'm thinking, oh yeah, well I want to get to feet, so I want a relationship between feet and inches. So I want my inches to cancel and I want to be left with feet. I know that the relationship between inches and feet is 12 inches for one foot. So I put my 12 here and my 1 here. My inches will cancel, my centimeters will cancel, and I'm left with 16 times 1 times 1 foot divided by 2.54 times 12. Let's put that into the calculator. 16 times 1 times 1 is 16, and I'm going to divide it by, don't forget a bracket, 2.54 times 12. Close bracket equals 0 0.525. So 0 0.525, and the units are feet. Now we can say to ourselves, wow, is that true? 16 centimeters, 0 0.525 feet. So just remind yourself that a meter is 100 centimeters, and 3 feet is about the same length as a meter, because a meter is about the same length as a yard. So 3 feet is about 100 centimeters. That means 1 foot is approximately 30 centimeters, so half a foot would be approximately 16 centimeters. So this is a reasonable answer. Now here, in the second question, we're going to take 524 milligrams and change it to kilograms. I'm going to do this one in two steps. So I start with 524 milligrams. I'm going to multiply it by the relationship between milligrams and grams. And I know that there's a thousand milligrams in one gram. So I put my milligrams in the denominator because I want them gone, and I put my grams in the numerator. I know that I have a thousand milligrams in one gram. My milligrams will cancel, and I take five, 524 times one gram and divide it by a thousand, which gives me 0 0.524 grams. Now I'm at grams and I want to go to, where am I going? I'm going to kilograms. So I'm going to take 0 0.524 grams and multiply it by the relationship between grams and kilograms. I know that there are a thousand grams, one thousand grams in one kilogram. My grams will cancel, and again I'm dividing this by a thousand, 0 0.524 divided by a thousand. So this becomes 0 0.524, my units are kilograms, and I'm dividing it by a thousand. That moves the decimal place back three more times, so I'm going to go 0 0.123 five two four kilograms or in scientific notation five point two four times ten to the minus four kilograms last one change thirty eight kilometers per hour to meters per second and I'm going to do this one in one step 38 kilometers per hour. And notice that I'm writing it with a straight line as a divider, not this way. If you write it this way, it's really hard to see what you're doing. Now I want to change, first thing I'm going to think about is my hours. I want to change my hours to seconds. 
So again, I want the hours gone, so I'm going to put my hours in the numerator. So hours divided by hours cancel. And I want the time to change to seconds. So I'm going to put my seconds in the denominator. I know the relationship is one hour equals 3,600 seconds. So I have one hour, 3,600 seconds. Now, I'm going to be left with the units of kilometers and seconds. So now I want to change my kilometers to meters. So I know here I have kilometers in the numerator. I want my kilometers in the denominator. So the kilometers will cancel. I'm trying to get to meters, so I want my meters in the numerator. My relationship between meters and kilometers is 1,000 meters for 1 kilometer. Kilometers cancel. Hours cancel. And I have 38 times 1 times 1,000 meters divided by 36 hundred seconds times one, which I'm not going to write. I'm going to cancel these two zeros here. These two zeros are gone. These two zeros are gone. So now I have 38 times one, well actually times 10, so this is one times 10, divided by 36, and the units are meters per second. Go to my calculator, I have 380 divided by 36, which equals 10.5. 10.5 meters per second. And that's the production of Wise Guys. Have a good day.